Hello, I'm John Paul and I'm here at Rimmer Brothers to fit a Revitec electric cooling fan kit to this Triumph Spitfire. The electric fan actually fits on the front of the radiator and the control unit that senses the temperature to turn the fan on fits in a hose. On this particular car it's going to fit in the bottom hose. The first thing we have to do is drain all the water and remove the bottom hose. This is the bottom hose off and the water drained out. As you can see, it's only just the two hose clips, fairly simple to get it off. You can see this, this hose is fairly perished. So as we're going to cut this hose to fit the temperature sender in there, it would be a good idea at this time to use a new hose. Then we're going to cut this hose and I'll show you how to fit the sender unit shortly. The next job is to remove the four radiator mounting bolts so we can mount the, uh, the, the new fan unit. So these are, well, would have been a half inch spanner size. I mean, 13 is fairly close, but if you've got the half inch spanner, it's definitely better to use those. So take all four nuts and bolts out of the radiator. It'll sit where it is, so I've left the top hose in place. It's not going to fall out. And then we'll show you how to mount the fan. So now put the cowl in and the uh, brackets on the fan. So the cowl in just tucks underneath like that and you use the bolts provided so there's one goes through the back of the cowl through the fan bracket on top then you wash on your nut so you'll need a little four mil allen key for the bolt at the back and a 10 mil spanner for the uh, for the nut do all four of those with the cowl in place and then we can fit it to the radiator so i've mounted the brackets and the cowl in on the other side, so they're all nice and tight both sides. So that's the fan part of it done for the moment. The next thing to do is to mount the water temperature control unit in the bottom hose. So what we need to do is cut the hose, I'll try and do it in the straightest bit in the middle of the hose so you've got enough room. And what we need to be doing is cutting out that 20 mil so we, we can fit it in like that. So we can either use the proper pipe cutter, a hacksaw or a standing up, but obviously just be careful with it, whichever you do cut that 20 mil section out then we'll fit the control unit and use the hose clips that are provided we've got the control unit fitted in the hose now and if you can see the little adjuster screw in the center there in, in that blue square now that's the adjuster you can turn that alters the temperature of which the fan cuts in and out so you'll, that, you'll just adjust that just a trial and error thing to see where you want the fan to cut in and where you want it to cut out so if you keep adjusting that you'll, you'll find the range that you want now I've left I've left it loose on the hose at the moment just so that we can get it all fitted and we can just turn this round so we can get it to the right angle so we can get a screwdriver in to adjust it easily before we put the dust cover on. So now it's a case of just fitting the Revitec fan so you slide it into one side in between the radiator and the bracket, slide it down to the other side and then it's just a case of lining up all four bolts, putting them, re replacing the nuts and bolts, all four of them and there are 516 UNF bolts, so I'd imagine 25 newton meters is more than enough for a torque setting for these. So that's the fan all mounted properly, all bolted up and tightened up. We've refitted the modified bottom hose and I've just tucked the wiring down below. So we're going to route the wiring comfortably. We're going to find a place for the relay and then we're going to find a, a switch the positive to feed the whole unit. While we're underneath, we're just going to secure the wiring from the uh, temperature control unit. We're going to connect the blue wire out of the relay to the red wire on the fan and then the black wire out of the fan to a good earth. There's one earth out of the relay will connect to the same earth as the fan, so that's nice and secure. And then once all that wiring is secure, we'll go up top and show you the last little bit. The kit comes with a new plug for the fan connector. I've connected the earth wire in there as you can see. Here's one of the connectors it comes with and all you do is you strip your wire back or you plastic back on the wire, you feed the wire in there and you just crimp the little metal terminals down. I mean if you've got a little solder iron it wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of solder on there and once that's in place you push it into the connector and the little clip on the back just clicks into the plastic and that's your plug sorted. I've mounted the relay on the inside the radiator cowling here and I've took the, the earth wires that just go underneath the uh, dust cover to the other side of the radiator cowling where I've mounted them to a good earth. And then the other, only other thing that's left to do now is to run the positive feed to find an ignition feed at the back of the fuse box which I've found. So I'm just going to reconnect the uh, positive and then that's the wiring all done and finished. All that's left then is to top it up with water run it up till it gets to the temperature that you desire the fan to come on and just adjust that control unit until the fan cuts in and out at the temperature you want.